Hi everyone, um, my name is Carrie and I'm known as the Patient Stitcher on Instagram and here on YouTube. I normally post content in regards to um, cross stitching, however a couple weeks ago, I have to do this because my glasses look like they're on crooked. Um, a couple weeks ago in regards to my first quilt tube which was a whip parade and now I'm back to show you progress status, my plans coming into April because doing that video really helped me realize what I had, what I need to do to continue, and what I always do when I have these is because I already purchased some fabric and I already started another quilt so I will save that for the haul video because I already started it today. But with that being said, I have done, um, oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to say thank you for all the new subscribers. You guys are amazing. I really didn't understand how much my community, like as in my channel, um, like I primarily did cross stitch, but I did not realize how many people really wanted to see kind of like a quilt tube in a floss tube type style. So, um... Yeah, everybody loved it, and I loved the feedback. You guys are amazing. Um, you're definitely, you help me stay focused on the things that I need to do, minus my husband does too. But anyway, um, he's always telling me I need to finish my stuff, so this really helps me put it into place. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys for ringing the bell if you guys want more. Um, don't forget to hit the bell and you'll know whenever I post a video. My quilt tubes I think are going to go on about once a month. Um, it takes a while to finish some of those projects, but I'm going to continue to try. So with that being said, I have done some quilt blocks for things that you weren't expecting because you didn't see. So I started two new quilts, technically three new quilts since you saw me last. So now we're adding to that whip pile. I actually worked on one of my whips and did do some quilting on it and I'm going to show you plans. The other video will be haul. I did that yesterday and so let's just get started. So Tennessee had a Tennessee sh shop hop um, and they're I went to all of them. I went to all the shops and I got all of the blocks and because this is my this was my first ever shop hop. It was really exciting. My husband went with me the whole entire time. It was really cool actually. Um, we had just gone to a few stores in North Carolina that had a shop hop and um, yeah, needless to say, it was a lot of fun and what their shop hop was, was geared around was these two... Um, these two personally designed by, I don't even know the name's on here somewhere. I do know the name is on here. Abram Hunter, he did this for the Tennessee Shop Hop. There's two of them. There's this one, which is like the summer. I'm going to try to show this the best that I can. So this is the summer one. Let me get over this way. There we go. And they did a summer and a fall. And of course, I did both. So, because I couldn't pick between the one and the other. And here's the fall one. So, what I did with both of them, sorry, just got up close and personal with y'all. Um, I've had these for a little bit, and excuse me for saying, um, because this is like my second or third time trying to film this. Really wanted it to go up yesterday, but it's not saving, so it's kind of weird. Uh, the first block I did was um, from the east, uh, from the Little Blessings Quilt Shop in Crossville. This is their block, and I did the blue one. I did. I'm not exactly pleased at how this turned out, so I probably will redo this with fabric that I do. But for right now, I'm not going to. And then this is the fall one, which I really loved these colors. These colors were cool. So I'll put them together. So there's one block for every shop. 
How they're going to turn out, I do not know yet. We're going to see. And so what I'm going to do, and this is going to be in plans. I do not know when I'm going to do these. I don't have, they're kind of just being done whenever I get them done. Um, this is a star pattern. This is... I've taken it out a couple times. I should automatically know what shop it is. Okay, this is from the Cherry Pit. This is just down the road from me. And like I said, I purchased both. So this is the fall and this is the summer. This, that's the fall one. This is a mountain and stream block. This is from Iva's. This is going to be mentioned here in this haul that I just did not that long ago. And I did the same thing with Iva's. I have both the summer and the fall. Um, this block is from Gina, Gina's Bernina's, say that like 10 times fast, and it's a house. And I got that one, and I think this next one, so there it is. So I got both of them, they're fall, both the colors. There's I of this. I literally have all of it in one bag, just so you know. I feel like I'm pulling magic tricks out or something. Okay. So this one was from Becky's, and there's what hers look like. Some of these are fairly easy and can be done really quickly. Others are not, you just can't whip them out. So, and they don't, a couple of them take special rulers. These do not. Um, this is the one from, here, I'm going to show you both of them. Like this, there we go. And this one is from Bernina, Bernina in Stitches. And then this is the one from Twisted Sisters Quilt Start. This is the one that's in um, Knoxville. I love the bear paw prints. These are cool. I love this one. I might do a few extras. We'll see what happens when I actually get some of them going. Um, here is the one from uh, Tennessee Quilts. This is in Jonesboro. I did both of these. So she did, um, there, so that's how she did hers. So I did pick up both of these, both of these uh, colors. Let's see. And the one I left off on, and there's the ones I was showing you for um, the East Tennessee, East Tennessee Bernina and Stitches ones. And all their packaging was really different. When we did the quilt shop pop, it was really cool. Each store was totally different. Each store had their own. If you want to know more about the stores, I don't know how to post like the links to other videos, but I did a Tennessee quilt shop hop video and went to every store and, and, and videoed in every store and it was a lot of fun and the shop owners were amazing. Um, this is from the Sewing Bee and this is the one I have. This this is the Wing Clipper. Um, that's so weird. You can see my screen in my face. I have the Wing Clipper to work on this but I do not have the other one in the other. I did order it. It should be here Thursday. I do believe. Um, but the problem with that is I saw about six other quilts by using the wing clipper and the tucker tool that I want to do now. You're never not going to have things happening in this house because I'm always wanting to do something, as my husband would like to tell me. So that is the kind of like plans and progress I guess I should say so these are just two of the blocks I've got I do believe there's eight all together and then kind of planning on how we're going to work this and make it look really beautiful so another thing that you guys didn't know that I was going to do is the quilting bee vom which I've been a part of for a very long time is doing a mystery quilt block and they also do lots of other things too. You really should go check them out. I'll post their link below. Um, they do, they just did a charms and chocolates thing for Valentine's Day or I think it was Valentine's Day. And they they do lots of little things throughout the year. Um, the reasons why I did this quilt 
um, mystery block is because I got a ton of fabric through our Christmas shop or Christmas like secret Santa Santa and it's called the 12 days of Christmas and she ended up gifting me almost literally like 12 fat quarters of gorgeous fabric and if I think about it I'll bring it back next time so you can see it or I'll post a picture of what it looks like it was stunning and I'm using that fabric for this mystery quilt block so and I did I had not done any all year long so I did three this month so the first one I did was this one and it turned out stunning I'm really happy with this quilt block this is really beautiful so this is month one Trying to figure out where to put things. Um, this one was month two. And some of these, if you look at these fabrics, people are like, what do you use these fabrics? These fabrics are so neat. And for some reason, I had a gift certificate for Joanne's, so I went and purchased this fabric just so I could have a background fabric and enough of it. But yeah, it's beautiful. So there's block number two. And we're supposed to get like thunderstorms and we actually literally before I started this video we had a tornado watch so I do believe I'm looking um, and block three which was for March there was three of these blocks but these two are supposed to be the same and then the third block was just gonna be a little bit different it's darker but I am in love with it So the plans for this is you will see month number four. Um, they have not posted it yet, so I do not know what it's going to be. So that'll be a really fun thing. So kind of doing plans all at the same time of doing this. And yeah, so the item that I actually worked on that was an actual whip is my braided table runner. So I contemplated almost the whole entire month until about a week ago what I was going to do with this. So what I did with this, in the middle I did the stitch in the ditch. Because I'm putting this as a table runner and I didn't want to bulk it up with with quilting, with beautiful quilting. I really wanted to do that um, but I think we're going to do that with the wall hanging. So. I did the stitch in the ditch, and if someone doesn't know what, I just saw something. I, if someone doesn't know what stitch in the ditch is, it's just stitching where you've already sewn. So it really kind of hides it uh, all along. I can show you on the back. See? Earlier it looked better, but there you go. So it's just stitching in the ditch. All you're doing is sewing on the pattern that you already did. It really anchors it down. It works good. It's beautiful. It doesn't ruin anything on the front, so really this braid, it looks nice. So plans for this is I'm going to figure out what to do in this little sashing area. I'm thinking I want to do some kind of scrolly, I don't want to bulk it up like I said, so we'll see what happens. And then I think on the ends I'm going to do another stitch in the ditch and then we're going to find it and it should be done. I can't guarantee that's all going to happen in April, but it's going to get finished, be finished quilting. So that is the bonus. So there's that. And the only other thing that I have plans for this month is, and you did not see this in my whip parade. I don't know why, but you didn't see it. It has been completed, but I've needed to quilt it, which was the story of my whole whip parade. But it is a bubble quilt that I did. I can show you the whole massiveness of it. It's pretty heavy. Actually, it goes this way. So this is the massive bubble quilt. You can't even really see it all. And I did a backing, or I did a panel for it with with um, Elsa and Anna. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to not quilt it because I tried to do that. It is an extremely bulky quilt. Now I'm trying to get it to not slip out of my chair. 
it is extremely bulky. I've tried to put it in my machine. It's not working. So let me reach over here really fast. I grabbed some yarn. And I'm going to try to match it as best I can. So possibly on the nights that I've come home from work that I'm just really tired, I'm planning on hopefully doing that. I'm hoping to find it, and I'm hoping it to also go where it's intended to go before the young lady is 20 and doesn't like bubble quilts anymore. Because it's been finished for well over a year. So, that is what I have planned. There are other things, as I've already told you, I already started working on another quilt. So I'm going to put my haul video here, and I'll be back after that. Hi everyone, uh, this is the haul part of my video. I'm recording it while I'm uploading my floss tube video. And I wanted to show you guys what I got, because I went to my local quilt store, IVs, and I found a pattern from Annie's that I was searching for something else. Someone mentioned the pattern was available at Annie's for my cross stitch and I realized a long time ago I purchased some of these patterns and I just actually pulled them up off of the site so I printed them out. I purchased this one a long time ago. I purchased, which is actually very cool, don't get me wrong. And purchased this one, which I want to do so bad. But I have to wait until I get some scrappy stuff. That's how I feel about that anyway. And where's the other one? And I purchased this one, which is reasons why I went to the quilt store to begin with. So I love this and they did it in batiks, but I, I know I have 10 inch squares in my, um, storage unit. So if most of you don't know, I have a storage unit in Pennsylvania full of stuff, but I got this. This top fabric sold me. However, I mean, there are some definite interesting ones in here, and I'll flip through a few of them for you so you can see them. If I can do this, they're still beautiful, do not get me wrong. There are some different ones in here, some Paisleys. Not a huge Paisley fan, but you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay. And I know I need to get some of my other projects done beforehand, but... couldn't resist I just I couldn't resist so not only did I buy this to start my next quilt I'll show you this one in a minute I also purchased the background fabric for it isn't this amazing so look I didn't want to do the traditional black and white look at these colors look You guys have no idea how stinking bad I want to do this, like right now. Like I just want to sew. But my husband's coming home today, so I cannot do so. But that's okay. I am do not be surprised if in the next video you see blocks. Just, I'm just saying. Because it's coming. And of course, then I said, mm, you know, Ivy store, my goodness, you want strips, you want fat quarters, you want, she's, she's got the most gorgeous, anyway, she's got the most gorgeous fabric. There's a couple of quilt stores near me, but Ivy's is the closest and it's not like right technically downtown, um, living near Pigeon Forge in Sevierville, Tennessee can be quite daunting. Gatlinburg, it's going out can be a nightmare. So I purchased this one. They just got it in. She has the fabric for this too. Not just the 10 inch squares, but she has the fabric. Let's do a little, uh, let me see how good I get at this. Cause I'm new at this stuff. You gotta help me here. 
Yes, I did look at this in the store, but like to flip through it, like it's so neat. I don't want to undo it because if I undo it, then it's just never going to go back. I love these, these plaids are stinking good. Look at that, that's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Little campers. Ooh, that one's pretty, that's a tent. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm a hiker, I'm a camper, I'm a low. I love that. Ooh, I like that too. Oh, that is so neat. I like this fabric line. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have no clue, but I had to get it. It's going in my stash for now. Ooh, wait. Get back up in there. Where's that one? That's a great, that would be great Christmas fabric. Come on. There we go. That plaid is really beautiful. That's a cute Christmas plaid. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like the trees. Yep. I see a canoe. <laughs> or a boat. Very neat. Oh, I love the leaves. Those leaves are amazing. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, if I like this fabric as much as I think I do, then she has a bunch of it. I do not know what I'm going to do with this moda as of yet. I don't know. But it's going in my stash. And, of course, I had to purchase a ruler. I actually went, okay, I went there to go get a ruler so I could work on a quilt block. She didn't have that, so I have to order that offline, which I'm going to do. But I have the Alaska quilt. And they had the Alaska ruler, so you, you know what I had to do. Will I work on it this year? Probably not. <laughs> Please forgive me. Because God forbid, I probably will work on it this year. Once I get settled in, in Michigan, I will probably do it. But, yeah, isn't that wonderful? Shopping always makes me happy. Well, now you guys got to see the cool things that I got at the store. Um, so, be prepared for more whips added to the... I've literally cut it out. I've just got to start sewing. It's going to be fun. So with that being said, on to life. That, that's all I have for quilting at the moment. Um, like I said, we have a weather warning coming. It's gotten pretty dark. I don't think it's supposed to start happening until later tonight, but I love storms like this. So I don't like necessarily tornadoes in my front yard, but I wouldn't mind going and chasing one. That's just a whole other ball game. So I've had a lot of questions in regards to like moving to Michigan. Well, let's just say in a short month, I have been, or even like two weeks. Actually, it's been two weeks since I did my last video. I'm sorry. My nose itches. Um, I have had two job offers, and both have been rescinded. One of them because I couldn't get my fingerprints in. They kept being denied. So I found a way around that, got that done. Um, and then the next one did because of my driving record. Found out today, lit well yesterday, literally, that there's a break in my record and no one told me. And it didn't look like that when they sent it to me, so now that's got to be done. So I'm back to the back to the drawing board. I don't have any job offers. Uh, my husband did finally come home yesterday, so that was really nice to have my husband back. And yeah, we have no clue where we're going. And now I don't even know if it's Michigan. So let's just say that we are definitely flying by the seat of our pants. We're trying to make the best decision that's right for our family and for our two oldest children who are going to come live with us. So there's just so much happening in this time frame. I'm also taking two months off from school because we're moving. Um, so you may not see a whole lot of quilt tube videos between May and July just because unless I do a lot of buying which I probably won't do either because I won't have a job so I won't probably be doing a whole lot of purchases uh, with that I have no clue where we will go it's been an emotional roller coaster over this past week it was extremely hard week uh, but I have faith that no matter what happens, we're going to write, we're going to, we're going to wind up in the, the place that we are meant to be. And 
we we'll just go from there. So I hope that you guys had an amazing day. Um, I hope you had an amazing Easter too, by the way. Sorry I didn't say that in the beginning. I It was kind of quiet for me. I did a lot of homework. But that's what my Sundays kind of are. My Sundays are homework, homework days. Um, but I hope that you guys have an amazing couple weeks. If I get a chance to come uh, on and I have a ton of progress, I will come on in possibly two weeks. But I think that I'm going to put my quilt tubes at a month. Um, just because it does take, it seems to take a little bit longer to get some of those things done. So I hope you guys have an amazing couple weeks. And until then, happy quilting.